professoressa Skudna Kangas, eh, innanzitutto desidero complimentarmi con lei per il suo libro. Eh, vorrei chiedere la sua opinione sull'esperanto eh, come mezzo per preservare le lingue esistenti e incoraggiare il multilinguismo. Uh, there are uh, new studies uh, right now showing how teaching children Esperanto at the beginning of their school makes them much more aware of function, their metalinguistic awareness, as we call it, meaning their awareness of how languages work and what you can do with language and even how languages are structured and differences between languages. This awareness grows incredibly much if children are taught Esperanto at the beginning. And since, since Esperanto is a very easy language to learn as a foreign language or even as a mother tongue, that this means that this kind of uh, propedeutic teaching, preparing children for learning other languages later, makes these children much better in learning other additional languages. So if, for instance, children in Italy were taught Esperanto for one year and then English for two years, they would at the end be at least as good in English as those children who have been English for years. Meaning they already know how to learn for language, and they already know much more about how languages function. So in this, in this sense, Esperanto is a very good language to teach if one wants uh, people to learn additional languages faster and easier. But this metalinguistic awareness that Esperanto would give these children is also in other ways a very good thing, meaning When we claim, and there are lots of studies showing that, that uh, those people who are bilingual, they are not very high-level bilingual, but preferably also very high-level bilingual, they are as a group doing much better than those who are monolingual in lots and lots of different kinds of tests, tests which measure uh, different aspects of general intelligence, verbal, linguistic parts of intelligence. Uh, they, are, they are doing better in tests which measure both cognitive flexibility and divergent thinking, meaning that uh, uh, people are intellectually flexible. They can see different solutions for a problem. They can think in different ways. They are better in interpreting metalinguistic cues and body language, uh, that, uh, the metalinguistic awareness that they get there is the causal factor that makes bilinguals do better than monolinguals in lots and lots of different areas. They also do better in tests that measure creativity. If you think of what we in Europe need to, to earn our money from in the future, That is creativity, finding divergent solutions to problems that are, of course, of our own making. And Esperanto would be a very, very good language in giving children and adults this metalinguistic awareness much faster than other languages. Because of the structure of Esperanto, which is much more logical than the structure of any so-called natural languages, languages of which uh, have not been created uh, so-called so artificially. So, uh, I am all for Esperanto. I think uh, those who are against Esperanto in most cases are against because they know nothing about Esperanto. Know much more about Esperanto and that might uh, make them much more positive.